Oh, am I talking now? Sure. For real? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, today is Saturday. Well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know. Anyway. So I wanted to make this video because I'm technologically challenged and I'm sure some of y'all are out there too. So I'm gonna give you an overview of what the difference is between the X, the 10, the A plus and the A. But first I wanted to give you five tips to help you register for your phone next time if you're wanting to get it in the first batch like me and Nick did. So first of all, you need to be a part of the Apple upgrade program rather than the one as part of your carrier. Apple puts preferential treatment on the people who go through them it's just better. Second of all is pre-register. I think this was the first year you could do that. Um, they did a pre-register thing Tuesday before the launch um, on that Friday. And basically it took you through the entire process. You're pre-approved for your Citizens One loan. And all you have to do that morning is just click three buttons and you're done. It just made it a lot easier that morning. Number three is you need to buy it on the app on the phone, not on the computer. We did have our computers up as backup. You had to do it through the app. Number four would be use Apple Pay. They actually gave preferential treatment to Apple Pay over a credit card. Nick is very pro Apple and so we've been using Apple Pay. That's what we use to go through. And number five um, is just make sure you set an alarm to get up. Uh, if you're notorious sleeping through alarms, maybe have someone call you who's also doing it. I am notorious for sleeping through alarms and so I actually used um, an alarm app where I have to like go internal light and take a picture just to make sure I got up. But registering for this phone was kind of, um, it gave me so much anxiety just because we woke up super early, 1.45 to be live for the 2 a.m. Central Time launch and it was late coming and we had an early morning flight anyway. It was just crazy. So yeah, those are my five tips to help you register next time. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you five different ways that the iPhone 10 is different so you can try and make your decision of what's best for you and your needs in a phone. Number one would be size. That is the most obvious thing that's different. You can see um, in general that the iPhone 10 is smaller than the iPhone 8 Plus. The 8 is going to be smaller than the 10 and thinner. Um, the thickest of the three is going to be the 10. It's interesting that they went thicker. It doesn't really bother me. It is going to take me some getting used to just because I have adapted to the iPhone 7 Plus size, which is the same size as the 8 Plus. But yes, number one and the most obvious is that the iPhone 10 is smaller and thicker. Number two, which is basically the reason I wanted the 10 is the camera. Um, it is a wide angle telephoto camera on the rear, which is also on the 8 Plus. It's not on the 8. It can take quicker photos. It's 12 megapixels, but that's on the 8 Plus and the 8 as well. The biggest difference here is that the front facing camera on the 10 is also 12 megapixels and in the past it's been 8. It also has portrait on the front, which is really cool. and. Um, it sounds vain because you're obviously using it for selfies, but it's awesome for when you're wanting to take a selfie with a friend and you may not trust someone to take it for you. It has some really cool effects. Number three is gonna be the face ID, which is where you can unlock the phone by just looking at it. Um, it's actually really cool. I know some people are like, I don't need that. Where's my home screen button? But it's really cool, especially for someone like me who likes to use their phone with recipes in the kitchen. I can just look at it and um, if it has gone to sleep, I can just look at it and it'll open and I don't have to get like cookie dough or something all over my phone because Nick doesn't like it when I do that. But um, anyway, <laughs> and also with because of the face ID, you also get the emojis, which is where the emojis basically show all of the reactions you're having on your face, like your eyebrows or like your smile or your nose. I think you're meowless. Which again, people are like, I don't need that. But it's actually really cool, cooler than I thought it would be. But where it might interest you is that um, it helps your app filters more, look more like you. So your Snapchat filters, your Insta Story filters are gonna be able to better adapt to your face and really look like you, which is kind of cool. The fourth thing that's different is gonna be the screen, which just even looking at the phone for like the first time I took it out of the box, I could tell a major difference. It's an awesome screen. The 10 has OLED, which is organic LED, and it's the newest form of HD. Um, it also, that's what allows it to be super retina. 
It also has an edge-to-edge -edge screen, so although it's smaller than, the phone itself is smaller than the 8 Plus, the screen is actually bigger, and you can see that. Like, the screen is awesome. Um, it's gonna be 5.8 inches, um, whereas the other one, the 8 Plus, is 5.5. So you have a significant amount of more screen. Also, there's no home button, which is kind of weird, but you get used to it. Apple's gonna change thing up, things up on you all the time, so you might as well get used to it. I don't really miss the home screen, it's just a matter of getting used to it. And then number five, the last thing is just that you have a two hour additional battery life. So that's great for me, and especially um, with blogging and everything, so um, I can appreciate that. All right, thank you for watching my video on the iPhone. If you wanna see more techie type videos, I would love to do those for you. I actually got my first Apple computer a year ago this weekend, and I did a blog post on how I adapted to that, so I just thought uh, with my good, um, good reception of that post that y'all will enjoy this post, so be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and hit subscribe so I can share with you more lifestyle and tips from Elements of Style.